it comes to antiques, what is hot in 2014? And joining us now with the answers is Christian Lund. He's the owner of Fancy That Antiques in Wilbraham. We're talking what to sell, what to hold on to. Hey guys. Hey. Hi How Christian. You doing? Welcome back. Happy New Year. Happy to be here. Happy New Year. It's not yeah, too late. Not happy New Year everybody. Yeah, if you happy haven't New seen Year. people, you can still wish them a Happy New Year. Absolutely. Why not? You have some pretty neat <coughs> things here that I've never seen before. I bought I brought a smorgasbord of what to sell and what to hold on to. And it's kind of a progression. So, if we could start off to uh, to your left, Seth, uh, there's things that uh, people bring in the shop all the time that they really don't need to right now. So, uh, things like uh, antique uh, china. Antique china, nobody really wants it right now. It's something to put up in the attic or uh, just stuff away because things go in cycles. Uh, so eventually, things like these, uh, antique china, antique glassware, um, antique prints, uh, old brass. <clears throat> um, It'll come back those in at things, some point. Yeah, everything goes in a cycle. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't throw it away, or if you need to, you can give it away or donate it. But uh, those are some things that you will uh, you don't need to bring in the shop or, or try to sell on your own because it will be a waste of time. Yeah, you'll be disappointed by the outcome, and then it's probably worth saving <coughs> it. Yeah, or as you're saying, giving it away because why not make a tax write-off? Yeah, well, absolutely. You could do that, too. Can we focus on this, though, because you said it, it does something really neat, and I want to try it. Yeah, well, <laughs> put a little, uh, I think there's a coin in there, and okay. uh, pull the, it's, a, it's an antique or a vintage little bank. And um, those That's don't cool. have tremendous value, but they're cool. That's the thing, hold on to it, give it to a grand, uh, grandkid, it makes a cool <laughs> thing. Noise too. Well, you don't see something like that every day. Now, what is what makes something considered an antique or vintage? What, what okay. classifies an item as that? So, as one the for other? example, the, the, well, the general rule of thumb by like the dictionary is uh, 100 years old or older. That's a true antique. So, mm -hmm. like this light fixture in the middle on the carpet here, this is an old gas light, light fixture from probably about 1880. So a flame would come from behind behind this piece, and it would actually help light and well, heat your home supplementally. But you could light your cigar off of it too, and unfortunately many homes burned down, but it was pretty neat back in the Victorian days for lighting. So these this, this is holding value. This is a good time to sell these. Uh, vintage lighting is hot, antique vintage or vintage rugs. And mm -hmm. vintage, when I, when I explain vintage, 50 years or older, 50 to 75 years, even up to just about 100, that's considered vintage. Even down to 35, so I'm vintage. So there's vintage. You guys are. <laughs> I'm getting vintage. Darn it, I'm not I, yet. I'm just, so vintage. I'm just and vintage. Then there's vintage. Darn. Yeah. Now let's talk silver plating. These are a couple ladles silver right here. Silver plating, yeah, forget it. Unless it's uh, unless it's it. really fancy, unless it's got like uh, do like dogs or some, like, some type of scenic, uh, like, inscribed uh, beautiful work in there uh, just put it up in the attic or use it you can just use them that's put them true. in the dishwasher yeah make use of it yeah, now sure. what is this this is a just regular fabric yeah now this is kind of the middle of the road some fabrics this is a vintage french fabric that i got up in lennox uh, actually at a tag sale this summer and um this is actually this is worth some money this one is a little bit tattered so and it's moldy too if you smell it so i do that you can smell your hand don't smell it if it's not moldy yeah. and if it's all together yeah the vintage fabrics are in and in and antique too um but if it's if it's kind of rough you can actually you could probably throw those things away but how do you know if, if fabric is i'm sure it's so hard to, to tell if there's no tag on it if it's vintage or antique it, it's it's hard to tell it's really hard to tell you can actually look up old patterns antique patterns um in the um in like house beautiful or online it, it, you really have to have an eye it's tough there's really no general rule yeah, of thumb for fabrics now let's but, talk uh, about the things that are hot right now that if people wanted to make a quick buck and they have them in their attic they can get rid of okay. some of these things over here. So people, like, the cream of the crop right now is, uh, like, here's an antique silver, sterling silver tea caddy from Germany. Uh, I, I put some ju costume jewelry in there. Jewelry, unusual sterling pieces are in. Time pieces, where's my pocket watch? Oh, here it is. <laughs> um, you know, what time is it? Time pieces are always in their classic. They, they'll never fade out, because uh, they're also jewelry, too. Um, People who like to frame their own artwork, uh, antique frames are actually, they're not tremendously valuable, but uh, if you want to take a picture of, say, your kids, Ashley, or mm -hmm. you guys, if you ever make some, um, <laughs> you could frame them and actually have this, uh, you know, have a tie back, give it some flavor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A little old, a little new, all at the same time. Also, one more thing, um, 
antique artwork. The artwork community is uh, it's booming right now. Is it really? Yeah. This is a this is an artist done by Hudson River Valley in New York. His name was Edward Gay. It's probably about a eight hundred dollar piece right now, eight to a thousand dollar. But uh, people are into art. Now, original pieces, though, not prints, right? Original, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, if you don't know, you know, a lot of people in their grandmother's attic or their parents' attic, there's a lot of these paintings. You don't know if it's something or is it nothing, but you could maybe take it somewhere and they can do the, the heavy lifting for you and see what it's worth. Sure, like I, when people come in the shop, I have an antique uh, loop, a big magnifier and magnifying glass, mm -hmm. and we take uh, black lights to it and we can determine whether it's a, a counterfeit or if it's old or new or, or not, so. That's very interesting. And is that lava or coal? Oh, yeah. What um, is that? Asteroids. Asteroids are always there. I mean, these, these things are true antiques because they're billions of years old. <laughs> that's true. So, um, so asteroids are pretty cool. You can bring them in. Um, that's actually not an asteroid. I found it behind the shop. It's from a, melt <laughs> it's from a melted car. But um, <laughs> asteroids but are pretty cool. Asteroids are in Where right can now. I they find really an are. asteroid? Like in they're the backyard? They're all over the place. Yeah, they're all over the world. Yeah, and you, you can actually take a cross section of them, and they're made of an amalgam of like platinum, gold, silver. Is it really? Whatever it is, You're you can take this. You're making it sound like it's really easy to find, Christians. Can I just go like <laughs> can, outside can... right now and find an asteroid? Yeah, some they, people they go pick mushrooms. People, they, yeah, some they're... pick asteroids. There was I actually, gotta learn more about this. There was an account that happened in Western Mass back in the 50s. One came right through the living room, uh, knocked um, a woman's leg. It not, didn't knock it apart. She was okay, but she actually has this asteroid, and it happens around here, believe it or not. I wonder if she kept it or if she brought it to. Uh, she that didn't place. bring it to me because I'm a little too young, but I wish I wish somebody would bring me an asteroid, really. <laughs> that last so one. you don't have to have burnt car Who material. this thing? What, so, <laughs> what, can we get a shot of this? What is it? That looks like instead, a weapon. Instead of the Edward uh, Gay, I brought an Edward Gein piece where he would actually torture people in, in Wisconsin. And that's in right now? Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, it's a, this is an old weapon, and um, they're rare. You're, you, where, where are you going to find one? I, I so, don't know where one would find that, old that's, that's part of my security. Equipment. That's part of my security <laughs> in the shop, so beware. Well, this is great information, Christian. Now we know what to hang on to and what, what, is it, what we should sell at this time. So thanks so much for the info. Thank you. Nice Thank to you have you here much. as always. <laughs> don't go anywhere. More Matt's Appeal right after this.